everything that goes out of here is fully loaded. All the extras you need. You've got stereo holograms, bounce point, media shields, power windows, change trays, and cup holders. Buy your saucer today. I'm going to throw in an extra set of Crazy Lowry's anti-gravity rubber floor mats. Absolutely free. Why? Because I'm crazy. <laughs> Elsewhere in the solar system, warring cyborgs on Neptune sat down once again at the peace table to try and hammer out an accord. But talks broke down when the skies clouded up and the solar-powered federal mediator droid simply ran out of juice. Our hopes go out to the Neptunians. Plans were unveiled today for the new Mall of Mars, the largest retail shopping complex in the known universe. In fact, the mall is so large it will boast 2,000 holograph phones and its own flying saucer air force. It looks like a good time to check on the galactic weather with our own astro meteorologist, Wendy Beryllium. Wendy. Thanks, Dirk. Let's take a look at some temperatures from around the solar system. For you sun worshippers on Mercury, it will be mostly sunny with a few puffy clouds of poison gas and a high near 620. Mercury sun protection factor is a sweltery 1600. If you're visiting Mercury, remember what can happen if you don't use your sunblock. Ouch! <laughs> but those of you on Neptune better bundle up tonight because it's going to be a chilly 360 degrees below zero. <laughs> We have a small spacecraft advisory for the C-7 quadrant due to unusually severe meteor showers for this time of year. So keep those deflector shields up. I'll be right back with the extended forecast after this. This portion of the news is brought to you by Excess Tech, encouraging you to seize the future with excess. Now the extended forecast for the planet Earth. We can look forward to partly cloudy skies, steadily rising ocean levels, and a giant comet to smash into the Earth and extinguish all life sometime in the next hundred million years. Wow, scary. Well, that's what's coming up for the planet Earth. Back to you, Dirk and Pam. Thanks, Wendy. A controversial new law went into effect today requiring pet owners throughout the galaxy to clean up after their beasts. Critics of the new law say it is unfair to inhabitants of planets whose naturally high radiation levels produce larger pets. And now for a quick look at sports around the galaxy. Records have been falling all week in the first Lunar Olympics. Although Team USA had some problems getting off the ground, a world high jump record was set by John Seven from the Republic of Phobos. The only other jumper to come close was disqualified for violating the two-leg limit. And here, bleak sport plan of New Isotopia shatters the world record in the 100-meter astronaut toss. Synchronized spacewalking was introduced for the first time this year. Another new event, the two-man indoor zero-grav luge has already caught on like space busters. Now, that's what I call body surfing. And in the world of auto racing, the fifth annual Pluto 500 was won by Red Vector, driving the HyperSud-sponsored Lunar Rover. We'll be back after this with all of last night's basketball action. Zark, where's my package? I presented to the Federation Overlord in 10 nanoseconds. Remember your high brain pressure. I need that package. Don't blow your top, sir. It's on its way with Transmillennium. Trans what? Transmillennium guarantees delivery on time or else. Or else what? Or else... They feel really bad. Why I got it. Next time, use FedEx. Your package means the world to us. We at Outer Space Bloopers told Mr. Angus Argon he had won a free trip to Vallarta 5. What we didn't tell him was that the command module has no steering mechanism. Watch what happens when he tries to collect his prize. I can't look! Hey, I, I'm gonna be sick! Hey, am I on that blooper show? How about this weather side, like $89 a month? It's hardly been used. A few storms, bang, they get rid of it. How about this one? I'm not sure what it does, but at $43 a month, who cares? Use it as a coffee urn. I will not be on the show. Got it. Attention, travelers. It's Space Mountain Mission Control here. We're T-minus real close to blast off, and your rocket ship is almost ready for boarding. I'll continue scanning the galaxy for up-to-the-minute interstellar news broadcasts while your rocket ship is being refueled. Enjoy. 
This palatial, self-contained aquapod is the perfect getaway for man and Martian alike with a gourmet kitchen and genuine moon rock garden. located at 27 convenient locations throughout the universe. Follow our tracking beams, watch for the signs, and visit our new store in Zobotatine. It's beautiful. Take a left at the Milky Way. Go straight till you see the signs. I'll be there all day Saturday. Crazy Larry loves you. Hurry up before they lock me up. <laughs> all right, you flabby cyborgs. Let's roboside. Feel the burn. Shake those servos. I couldn't have forgotten about it. And I know I can't live without it. Oh, no. Well, uh, that's it. boy, right down the old pipe. Yes! When you can't live without it, use FedEx. 